I'm in Camden visiting the Walt Whitman House, where the esteemed poet and author lived during the 19th century. Visitors from around the world come to tour the historic house, and they're greeted by curator Leo Blake, who will be my tour guide today. When did Walt Whitman live here, and how did he get to Camden? When asked about why Camden, Walt Whitman said, Camden was originally an accident, but I shall never be sorry I was left over in Camden. It has brought me blessed returns. And like many of the things he said and also wrote, there were many meanings. He had first come to Camden in 1873 to visit his mother, who was ill. And that's when Walt bought this house here on Nickel oh, Street. Okay. He lived here for less than 10 years. These photographs are copies of ones that are in our collection. And every one of them was donated except for this one, which by chance we had a visitor one day who came in and said that he had this photograph. That was taken in 1890 by an English visitor, John Johnston, who came to visit Walt and later wrote a book and published some photographs of the house. You had actual photographs of what his house looked like. So this, we know that this looked like this. Yes. Because he's got it right there. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And is that the same? The it is. This is a sculpture of Grover Cleveland, who was president during the period that Walt was living here, given to him by a friend named Sidney Morris, who also crafted the bust of Walt we have over here on the stove. It's fascinating. Can you show me more? Yes. OK, good. let's go. Good. Every room in the house is open to visitors, and there are treasures everywhere. Here's another interesting artifact that we have here, Marianne. This is the contract that Walt Whitman signed to have a tomb built at Harley Cemetery. If you read down, it has a price of $4,678. What year was this? 1890. That, that seems like a lot of money. It was an enormous sum of money for that time. And a big surprise to Walt Whitman. Apparently, he didn't realize that he had signed this contract before they typed the price in. He had entrusted the manager at Harley Cemetery to take care of his affairs. Later, he was able to negotiate the price down, and so the tomb was built without getting Walt too upset about it. Let me show you something else. Okay. It's a death notice. Apparently, when word got out, there were lots of people knocking on the door. And Walt Whitman's close friend, Horace Traubel, instructed Alex McAllister to write this out and nail it to the door. I can't believe you had that. That's beautiful. I'm sure there's more. The yes. house is filled with things like this. Our tour continues into the kitchen, where Whitman's housekeeper, Mary Davis, lived. She was the widow of a sea captain and she stayed with Whitman rent-free in exchange for keeping house. And then we visited the most significant room in the house. This is the bed that he died in. Really? Purchased for him about a month before his death. And it was a water bed. What do you mean a water bed? Well, it actually had a water mattress. Walt Whitman slept on a water bed. He did, yes. <laughs> is that his cane? That's his cane. Where would you get something like that? Friends of his and family who were given these at the time of his death, donated the artifact to the house many years ago. Over here, it's a very messy area. It is. It's very much a writer's room. Yes. That's for sure. In his final days, this is where he contemplated his life work, Leaves of Grass, that went through many editions. In fact, the last edition, which was finished here in 1892. The house is now managed by the Walt Whitman Association, and they host many special events, including poetry readings in the beautiful backyard. Leo gave me a sample of that. I celebrate myself and what I assume you shall assume. For every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. I loaf and invite my soul. I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass. It's just beautiful. Thank you. you. You have been a wonderful tour guide. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I didn't know this all was here, so I'm glad I came. Come again.